Hi guys, good evening and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host Eddie and in tonight's video I'll be discussing what I thought of that the latest and that awesome and kind of heartbreaking episode of The Walking Dead World Beyond. Who the stakes are really high now. Things have escalated. They've gone from 5 to 20. Before I get into all of that, of course, please be warned. I just realized I haven't issued my spoiler warning yet. If you're not caught up on The Walking Dead World Beyond by this episode or the past couple episodes, you do not want to keep watching or listening as I will be discussing spoilers, plot details, all that jazz. That being said, you have been warned. Let's dive right back into it. First and foremost, this episode was pretty much the embodiment of what it, I wanted this final season to be, and it did not disappoint. True, we only have two episodes left, but you know what, in their defense, you know, they had to put some padding to the story and set up everything up. Like the first half of this season was a setup, and the second half has really amped up the ante, and it continues to get better with each episode. So these final two episodes are going to be bonkers in the best way possible. I think. And this episode was great. It had uh, shocking deaths. It had some gnarly looking walkers. It had some shocking moments. It had, uh, you know, great character moments and stuff too. I mean, this episode had a little bit of everything. It was very reminiscent of the early seasons of the Mothership show and Fear the Walking Dead as well. I mean, I really liked it. It had all the same anecdotes and tropes that you would expect from this franchise. And I really, really enjoyed it. God, I was happy when um, when Huck killed that uh, pussy from the perimeter town, the coward who was going to, you know, uh, betray everybody, including her, by revealing the plan to the CRM. And then, thankfully, Huck puts him down, although I'm sure that raised the suspicions of Jadis. But at least that prick is dead, you know. I did not like him, you know, in that episode from, like, a few episodes ago when he suggested removing Nadira from the leadership. It's like, mm, this guy is shifty. There's something wrong with him. Sure enough, when I saw him outside that office, I'm like, oh, God damn it. He's spilling his guts about everything. But thankfully, Huck put him down. So thank you very much, Huck. Um, I also really enjoyed that fun little twist where it's like, well, what exactly do they need the Mason kid for? Like, what, like, do they think he has access to an escape area they need to get to? Oh, that's funny. They're going to use him as leverage to escape. Actually, excuse me. Excuse me. Ooh, pardon me. Actually, I actually thought this episode, the 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 turn this episode would take was they uh, the CRM threatens to break down the door, uh, and then they demand their safe uh, passage with uh, the hostage in hand. Uh, in exchange for, you know, they let him go in exchange for safe passage. But then their plan turned out to be, oh, let's seal ourselves into this un, um, unbreakable, impenetrable room, and then we'll escape through old ha escape hatches and tunnels, and we'll see our, our, seal our way out so the CRM can't chase us. Smart. I liked that. I like, too, that the scientists seem to be on board, that they're not buying into the CRM's bullshit anymore, thanks to Dr. Bennett, so I was happy to see that. And yeah, I'm also just really excited for these next two episodes. I mean, this episode is very exciting. I hated seeing some of the perimeter town folk die, but at least that prick who was leading the execution squad of the CRM who's going to kill everybody got what was coming to him thanks to Nadira. Oh, God, in the opening scene, too, when Will's walking in alone and he doesn't even have to say anything. And Nadira and her daughter just look at him at first dumbfounded and then quickly shock and heartbreak kick in. And you just realize that they know that um, their son, that their son and brother are dead. And, you know, it's just heartbreaking but at the same time it's the perfect reason or excuse to break the non-aggression pact with the crm saying fuck these guys let's go to war although it was interesting i really liked that flashback scene which revealed why the lieutenant colonel was so willing to give nadira medical resources to help with her problem her late husband died from similar problems it was some unidentified form of cancer or untreatable illness and that's what happened to her husband huck's father so she must have touched on that and that brought out some of the colonel's humanity at that point 
And unfortunately, if the Colonel were there, she probably would have made the same calls that Jadis did in terms of dealing with all these threats and problems to the CRM. But it was interesting seeing the Lieutenant Colonel, who's a rather unlikable villain, display some humanity where you could almost sympathize with her and understand her reasonings for wanting to help Nadira. I really like that. It's little moments like that that really make this franchise special. When characters do something out of character, it makes it for really entertaining TV, big or small. So I really liked that. You know, it was small, but I liked it a lot. And this episode was exciting. You know, it featured uh, Silas and Dennis trying to avoid a herd of walkers. And then they show up just in the nick of time to help Will fight off the CRM and save everybody from near-death execution style. And now our heroes are hopefully going to converge somewhere while trying to avoid the CRM. And hopefully Huck can avoid suspicion from Jadis and the rest of the CRM. Because I'm sure Jadis, who has proven to be extremely smart and cunning and intelligent, is starting to feel suspicious about her right hand woman so we'll see what happens but it's all going to come to a head in these next two episodes and i'm i'm pretty excited for it too and i feel like we're going to get some excellent teases as to what we can expect from the still planned yet unreleased unmade uh walking dead film trilogy which will be starring andrew lincoln as rick grimes once again i feel like the series finale for this show will hopefully tease or give us some kind of clue or indication as to what we can expect from those films because this show even last season in the first season this show was pretty good about providing little snippets of information here and there little teases so i'm excited about that as well great episode overall really really enjoyed it hope you guys enjoyed it too what did you think of it i'd love to hear your thoughts and feelings on it thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode as much as i did there's only two more episodes left in the next two weeks guys so stay on your toes for that have an awesome some rest of your night and again uh thanks for watching and of course until next time may the force be with you